Hi there, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing good. Um, I wanted to share with you the Love With Food Snack Subscription Box. Um, I received a, I believe, what, I think I received a trial box of this. So yeah, I wanted to do a little bit of taste testing to share with you guys um, what is in the box and um, if it's worth it, if it tastes good, um, a little bit on the nutrition side of things. So, uh, so stay tuned. So the uh, Love with Food box I received, um, and just so you know, it uh, starts at $7.99 a month, and it is a snack subscription. There are gluten-free options available, um, and you can, of course, cancel any time if you're not happy with the products or whatever the case is, so kind of a nice thing. Um, but anyway, one of the really cool things I like about this is um, that they actually donate for every box that you receive um, they donate one meal uh, to a family in need so that's really really cool so that's actually right on the box here that's such an awesome service I think um, to our community near and far so um, so yeah so that's really cool um, so there's a ton of information on the um, the website um, you can select different plans uh, which is really neat. There's a tasting plan, which is the cheapest option, starting at $7.99, and you get seven plus snacks. There is a deluxe plan, which is $16.50 at least, and then that's 15 plus snacks, um, called the super snacks. And then there is a gluten-friendly option. So for anyone who has celiac disease or anyone who has gluten sensitivity, um, there is a gluten-friendly option, and that starts at $19.99 a box and that includes 10 plus uh, surprise snacks. So um, some really good options, I think. Um, and it, from what I can tell, a lot of these um, snacks are pretty um, nutritious um, or a healthier option um, to like your standard potato chips or something like that. They also have um, dairy-free, kosher, GMO-free, soy-free, vegan, wheat-free, all of that um, good stuff for any Anyone who has particular nutrition needs um, or allergies or, like I said, sensitivity. So um, some really good uh, variety there, I think. And uh, regarding the donation of the meals, it turns out they donated over a million meals um, to, to families in need. So that is such an awesome thing. So kudos to uh, Love With Food for that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start... Um, tasting some of these things for you guys and um, just a little box so you can see kind of how it is packaged I come kind, of, kind of rummaged around through this already um, this is kind of a cute little a little card there I don't know if you can see that but uh, find joy within something that makes me happy so you're the the intention here is that you write something down that makes you happy so that's kind of cool especially in these crazy times we live in um, that's a really nice positive touch. Okay, so here is the snacks. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven snacks in here. Um, and then on the bottom, oh my goodness, I didn't even realize some of the stuff on the bottom here. There's a few little, I think, sorry for all the crinkling, um, little gift card type thing here for if you're a wino. <laughs> Um, and then some other advertisements, 10% off, uh, cleanest plant milks, period. So that's kind of cool. If it's something you're interested in trying, they give you a little discount here. Um, and then whatever this is here, I'm not sure what this is. Um, feel the rush without the grind. Um, oh, sparkling iced teas. There we go. I've never heard of these, so that's cool. So again, little advertising, but hey, makes it work. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with this gluten-free granola. Cranberry almond maple flavor. Um, what I can tell right off the bat is it doesn't look like there's a lot of um, like almonds or even cranberries in the packaging um, from what I can tell. Um, so again, this is gluten free. Uh, and I'll just kind of, I'm not going to go through all of the details, but here's like the nutrition 
panel on the back. I hope you can kind of see that. I know it's kind of hard to see. My lighting again is terrible. 140 calories in this and then two grams of protein. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and give it a little taste test here. Ooh. Ah. I just kind of spilled. So, ooh. Mm. Mm. Obviously it's really crunchy. We're gonna do some ASMR with you. Just kidding. It's really good though. It's not super sweet, which I like. Total fat, six grams. Not too shabby there. Um, total carbohydrate, 19 grams. But it's not super sweet, so that's really, I like that. Um, and again, like I said, there's only, well, there's probably two or three elements in here. Um, but again, I think for a snack, I mean, this thing, this is pretty good. Not super high in protein, but um, definitely if you need a little sort of like crunchy, sweet uh, taste or craving, this will definitely do the trick. Um, and just to point out, multi-grain, uh, it has multi-grain and bean crisps with sweetened dried cranberries, sunflower seeds, almonds, flax, and sesame seeds, and maple syrup. Um, so it's really, really, really good. Some good ingredients there. So good, yeah. Actually, I really like this. Hmm. I'm going to have to maybe stick the rest of this in some yogurt or something. Some, some good old Greek yogurt. Okay, moving on. Oops. Okay. These I've seen before. And actually, the majority of these things, I've never I've never even heard of some of these brands, to be honest. This I have seen. I think these are pretty popular in the stores. So um, I actually had get a version of these from Aldi. You have an Aldi near you, but I love Aldi. They have a lot of um, good options. Very small store. You're in, you're out. Um, a lot of organic options there. This isn't an Aldi advertisement, but anyway. Um, and I forgot to show you the back, but these are the green pea snack crisps. I'm kind of already shredded the back, but 100 calories. A little bit more protein here, four grams of protein, which I always try to look for in my snacks is to have at least four to five grams of protein per serving because protein will help keep you full and um, satisfy you and um, of course, meet your protein needs. We all need protein, right? And then there is actually some iron and potassium, calcium, and these are not super salty, so that's good because a lot of our alternatives like potato chips and Doritos and all that good stuff is generally higher in sodium. This is pretty low in sodium for a snack, 60, gram 60 milligrams of sodium. These are pretty tasty. Again, not, yeah, not super salty, but a good flavor. And um, these are actually, I, my toddler loves these for a snack. Um, and so that's, again, that's a good thing. I'm not going to just give them potato chips, and, you know, or whatever. This is a great alternative um, to that. And it's a nutritious alternative. So anyone with toddlers out there, this is a good option. All right. So moving on. This, I have a feeling I'm going to like these. Um, I've never heard of this brand. Non-GMO. Nutritional Choices Mini Gram Bites. And I should do a separate video on GMOs. Um, GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism, I believe. Um, that to me, honestly, is a marketing ploy um, to get you to buy the item, to be honest. That's my little two cents right there. So um, I'll have to do something separate on that. So anyway, I'm not too concerned about that, but made with natural ingredients. Again, that's kind of something like, hey, hey, this is healthy. <laughs> Buy me, eat me. <laughs> um, but this particular uh, item, it is made in a nut-free facility. Again, non-GMO. Um, and it has, it does contain um, eight grams or more per serving of whole grains. So, so that's good. Um, here is the nutritional panel, if you can see that. Um, 140 calories, a little bit, a few grams of protein. Um, so again, this is something I think that's more of like an indulgent snack. Um, for any of my fellow carbohydrate lovers. So, here we go. Mm. 
Mm. Crunchy. And not super, super overly sweet. It's actually two grams of fiber, which isn't a significant amount, but yeah, these aren't super sweet. Um, but they're good. They're okay. I think it's nice that anyone who has nut allergies don't have to be too concerned about this. So, yeah, that's okay. Okay. So here we go. Some legendary foods. Ooh. This is some bold packaging here, too. Um, these are some almonds. Buffalo Blue Wing Seasoned Almonds. By Legendary Foods, no sugar added, no cane juice, no agave, no honey, no artificial ingredients. Well, the nutrition panel is going to be a little bit hard to kind of show you this time around. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, I think it's like super blurry. Um, anyway. Almonds, nine grams of protein. So that's a really great snack right there. A little bit of iron, calcium. Um, but this does have 230 calories. So this would be like a really good solid filling snack. Um, and there's, of course, going to be some fiber as well, which is good. Three grams of fiber, which is a good amount. Um, so yeah, let me try these. Now these, I'm sure, are going to be um, high in sodium. Let's see. Yeah, 260 milligrams. Not terrible for a snack. But um, so something just to kind of keep an eye on for anyone who has high blood pressure. And all right, so here we go. Okay, I don't know if I can kind of get you to see that, but whoa! making a mess. Hmm. Oh. That is good. It does definitely has like the little powderiness to it for that flavoring. But wow, oh my gosh. Oh, these better be like vegan. Because these literally taste like a like just like it says, like a buff like a wild or a buffalo wing. Bu buffalo blue wing. These are super good. Oh my gosh. And I'm I'm sure they have other flavors. Other seasonings. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. I've never heard of this brand. I don't even know if I can find these um, in my local supermarkets around where I live. But oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get more of these. These would be great for even like like a larger package for like a gift or something like that. Um, for any health nuts, no pun intended out there. Um, these are really good, you guys. I highly recommend these. So I'm really glad to have discovered this brand and this food item here. Ooh, I can eat this whole package right now. Mmm, oh my gosh. Yum, oh, oh, I shouldn't say that, yummy. All right, so I'm gonna try something sweet. I got two options here. I'll do it, go, with, go for this one, this ZZ's Blueberry Lemon uh, Soft Baked Bar. It's pretty lightweight. Baked with whole grain and, and it's nut free. That's good. 150 calories, only nine grams of sugar, a little bit of protein, two grams of protein. So this might be something just kind of to satisfy a sweet tooth. A um, little bit of iron, that's good. All right. I like the packaging though. It's kind of cute. I don't know if it's like a little monster guy or something. I don't know. Again, I've never heard of this big brand. Um, it's easy. It's fun. Let's give it a shot. This is it. Looks like it's got a little bit of icing on it. it smells really good, actually. It smells really fresh, like fresh baked. I'm not kidding. Smells really good. Mmm. These are good. Oh my gosh, this would be great for like, with coffee or tea. 
again, like a sweet tooth, if you have a sweet tooth, this would be a better option than digging into um, your Ben and Jerry's <laughs> um, or like a candy bar or something. Th these are good. Mm. Oh my goodness. I have to stop myself because I will eat this whole entire thing. A little bit of icing on top, so it's a little, little sweet. Um, there is 24 grams of carbohydrate. Um, so anyone who is a diabetic might want to watch that. Um, but you can try to, you know, fit it in, eat half of it, fit it into your diet. But this is, this is yummy. Yeah, very more indulgent, I think, but a better option, like I said, to, to an alternative. Okay, I'm going to go some, to something uh, salty. Natural cut, uh, old Wisconsin turkey snack stick. So I'm guessing this is a, yep, like a turkey, uh, jerky stick. I don't buy a lot of these. I don't. I, I mean, I like them. Um, if I had an option, I would go venison. Um, but these are good. These are a great snack. Again, high in protein. And I know it actually doesn't have the nutrition nutritional panel in here. So I have no idea what's in it, how much protein or sodium or anything like that. Um, actually, in the ingredients, it does have the ingredients. Um, what I do like to see is that there's no sodium nitrate or nitrate because those are actually linked with cancer, unfortunately. Um, there's some research out there to, to um, support that. So um, definitely whenever you are choosing jerkies or lunch meats, any um, prepackaged foods that have um, meats, you know, sausages and hot dogs, check the label. Try to make sure that you get something that is uh, sodium nitrate or sodium nitrate free. That is a, basically it's a preservative. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's definitely, yeah, so it's just, it's gluten-free and it has good ingredients, nothing, um, too crazy, sea salt, 2% or less of cane, sugar, mustard, spices, uh, lactic and, uh, lactic acid, starter, starter culture, carrageenan, cultured celery powder, cherry powder, garlic powder, and it's in a collagen casing. So that's it. So let me see if I can open this up and try it out. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. A nice snap, <laughs> if you're into that. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Mm. Yeah. Of course it's salty, but that's what you get with jerky. Yeah, this is good. Great flavor. Again, really fresh tasting. I am tempted to eat the whole thing. It's a great snack. Okay, last but not least, um, uh, this is the dark chocolate coconut almond nutrition bar. It's Paleo Caveman. I think, I guess that's the brand. Um, I'm not really big on the paleo diet for various reasons. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I just think it's, I don't know, it's a little bit restrictive. Um, I'm not really well balanced, but I'm sure people are going to argue against that. Anyway, no, no artificial ingredients, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. There's my non-GMO right there. So 220 calories, 5 grams of protein, so that's good. A little bit of iron, some calcium, a little bit of potassium. I don't know if you can see all that. Um, okay. Let it, let's try it. A lot of ingredients. Mostly it's nut and seed blend that's the main ingredient. There is agave syrup, honey, unsweetened chocolate. There's some sea salt. So definitely, obviously, not appropriate for someone who is who has a nut allergy. Um, probably uh, or a wheat, you know, wheat allergy as well. And it also actually, yeah, it does say it's produced in a facility that processes again tree nuts, wheat, soy, peanuts, milk, and eggs. So FYI. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Hmm. Looks really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. The chocolate's really good. It's 
kind of got a waxiness to it. I don't know if you can see like the sheen. I'm not gonna lie. It has like a not like a not like a expired taste, but artificial. And that's the thing. I've gotten other granola bars where it tasted rancid, like the nuts went rancid. So mm, it's like borderline tasting like that. I don't know if it's the chocolate part or whatever's inside, the seeds, if it, the seeds went bad. But mm, it's moist and chewy. Of course, a little bit of crunchy because it has some almonds in it and nuts, other nuts and seeds. But mm, I don't know about this one. For 200, or, yeah, for 220 calories. Mm, I don't think I would buy these. Again. Um, but I guess for someone that is into this, I mean, paleo, um, this would be a good option. No, yeah, it's okay. All right, that's it. Those are all of the snacks. I'm pretty impressed. Um, for, I think it was, I paid seven or eight bucks, I think, again. Um, some good options to try. I discovered a few new uh, brands and new uh, new snacks um, that I'm actually looking forward to try to search and hunt for in the future because um, I want to get my hands on some of these items here. Um, so I'm, I'm impressed. I think it's kind of, it's a cool concept. I mean, having a snack subscription, um, things you can kind of throw into your lunch or your, your kid's lunch or something like that. Again, a great way to try new things. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the options that I got in this snack uh, box. Uh, there's a great balance of, you know, sweet and savory. A lot of the items do have um, some uh, good nutritional content to them, whether it's protein, fiber, um, a little bit of iron. Um, I think there are, you know, great options for people that have sensitivities or, or who are allergic to certain items. So it's really a great balance. And I think you certainly can find something that you like in this box. Someone in your family, um, you know, would would probably like something in this box as well. So I think it's a great a great idea. I really like their um, their goal in um, where is that? I think it's over back here. One meal donated with every purchase um, to a family in need. So um, so anyway, I think that's a really cool thing. I, I really like that, and I, I definitely would want to support a company like that. Um, in the future. So I don't know. We'll see. I might subscribe to this officially. Um, I got, again, this is just a trial box, but um, I'm, I'm impressed. I really like the options. Again, a great variety of snacks. You got granola bars. You got uh, both a balance of sweet and salty things, savory or sweet things. Um, so, so that's really cool. But that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if you like the video, uh, press that like button down below and please subscribe. That would be awesome. Yeah, I want to keep the conversations going. And um, if you subscribe, um, you know, you can stay on top of everything that I, I'm posting. So um, so thanks again, you guys, for watching. You guys have an awesome day. Woohoo! Uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the future. All right, take care. Bye-bye.